the most disrespectful thing that's happened to you in the service industry. So this one incident happened when I was a server at a restaurant. I won't say the name, but let's just say it was a Neapolitan pizza place. The owners were Italian, and I mean straight from Italy Italian. Like they weren't Americanized at all. They had great English, but it was clear this isn't at all your first language. And on this day in particular, it was like a random Tuesday or Wednesday afternoon. Not exactly a busy day for restaurants. So my coworkers and I didn't have much to do, so we were all hanging out in this empty dining room segment of the restaurant. It should be noted that almost every single day, the owners would like to drink wine after 8 p.m. or so. Sometimes too much wine. And on this day, one of the owners walks in and sees all of us standing around and laughing. For information, I'm the only black person in this group of six people. So we all disperse, but he singles me out specifically. Mind you, I had a strong work ethic with zero complaint. And he says, you look strong, but you're so weak. It's always you black ones. What's the most disrespectful thing that's happened to you in the service industry? I'll go first. A few years ago, I was serving this guy. So this is when I used to work as a server. It was me and my other black coworker. So race is very important in the story. So a family of eight walks in. They're all white. A mom and dad, their their kids who are either preteens and teens. And then the oldest daughter had her boyfriend with her. So they seem they seem like a very regular family. They came in, they're very polite. I sat them down, took their drink orders, and they're all like sitting waiting for their food. I realized that when they take out their phones and their wallets, it's all like Trump gear. Like you could tell they're openly Trump supporters. And it was very subtle, but you knew that they were Trump supporters. So we were very understaffed that night. So I'm running around trying to get everybody's orders. And then the dad calls me over. And he's like, wow, like you're such a hard worker. And I'm like, oh my God, thank you. That is like, that's so sweet. He goes, it's nice to see that there's still black people who want to work for their money instead of sitting on unemployment and welfare and just eating up all of the taxpayers' money. I go, huh? This man is loud and he goes, yeah, you guys will not be understaffed it's, if Trump was still president. It's because Biden won't let this unemployment go. It's because all the black and Hispanic people who are supposed to be working like you are staying home and just collecting unemployment and welfare. And they're lazy and don't want to come back. All they do is take for the American economy and never give back to it or help it in any type of way. Like this man is going off and his kids in the background are like, yeah, go off, dad. And the wife looks so proud, like, like so into what he's saying and what he's preaching and i'm just like standing there like wow like this man actually thinks he's doing something so i stop him and i go you know that white people are the people who are majority on welfare and unemployment right he's like no your statistics are wrong he was like it's black and hispanic people who are most on welfare and unemployment and they're the one who eat up all the taxpayers money and so this is when my other black coworker steps in grabs me my shoulders and goes uh-uh we're not doing this today and he pulls me away and i'm like no 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 no, like please like i'm ready to go to war like i'm ready to argue because i know i'm right but my coworkers like don't even waste your time these are not the type of people to be arguing with because facts don't phase them and when he said that like it was a real like eye-opening experience for me at the end of the night the dad on the receipt writes after he leaves an amazing tip he writes i never knew that there was black people like you and then and there was when i knew i never want to work in the service industry again and it sucked that i had to hold my tongue so that everybody else can have a fine dining experience as my people were dragged like they have been for so many years and then the boyfriend of the daughter was yelling make america great again as he exited the restaurant What's the most disrespectful thing that's happened to you in the service industry? I used to bartend back in the day, and this is literally my craziest story ever. So this happened about three years ago, but y'all, buckle up. So let me set the setting. It was a Friday night. The restaurant was pack a lacking. The entire bar was filled. It was like over an hour wait. You get the gist, right? It was busy. So this lady comes in. She looks like she's in her mid-20s, and she comes in with her two-year-old daughter. So the host proceeds to seat her like usual and she sits in a booth. She puts her stroller on the other side with her kid and she's sitting on the other side of the booth. So the server comes up to them and is like, hey, how are you? You know, what can I get for you to drink? Blah, 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 blah. So she orders like a swirl frozen margarita. She drinks the margarita and then she ordered another one, right? But she also ordered food and an appetizer and then food for her kid, etc. So the server literally was like, okay, goes to the computer, puts in the drink order, walks past her and she stops the server and goes, where the hell is my drink? And then the server was literally like, I just, I just put it in. Like you just ordered it and you just put it in. It should be coming out soon, you know, whatever. Anyways, so the drink comes out, the server gives it to her and he notices that she was like talking to herself. One thing led to another and she starts yelling at her two-year-old kid. So she's literally threatening this kid at this point saying like, oh, you just wait till we get home. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get a, like a good spanking, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. She said some like inappropriate things, but I don't wanna say air. 
So then the server grabs the manager and the manager's like, okay, let me check on her, right? So the manager goes over there and is like, hey, you know, just wanted to know if everything was okay. You know, how's the food? How's the drinks? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know if this lady felt threatened by the manager. It was not that at all. But she grabs her kid, literally, and just books it to the door. Mind you, she literally left her stroller and the food and everything unpaid for in the booth. So then one of the other servers was literally by the door and a host, and they proceed to block her from the door from leaving the restaurant, right? And at this point, the manager was like, okay, I think that something's up, like something's weird. Anyways, as she's running towards the door, before she got blocked, she dropped the kid. So the server that was by the door was able to catch the kid, thank goodness, and then she proceeds to grab the kid and the manager just says, run away with the kid. So at this point, the entire restaurant is like, what the hell is going on, right? So just imagine there's a server with the two-year-old kid literally strapped on her right here and she's running towards the manager's office towards the back. Meanwhile, the kid's mom is literally behind her chasing her. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking like, how dare you guys touch her kid, blah, 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 blah. It was not like that, trust me. So the mom is chasing the server with her kid, right? And she literally starts grabbing the kid's hair and then biting the kid's arm. Anyway, so the server with the kid never ended up getting to the manager's office um, because the lady ended up just biting the kid's arm, was pulling on the kid's hair, just hurting the kid, not the server, hurting the kid. All of this is happening in the middle of the bar. It's just happening right before my eyes. And I was literally in shock to the point where I saw the kid screaming and I was like, I just need to call the police. So I called the police. So while I'm on the phone with the police, I'm literally describing everything that's happening in front of my eyes, literally. But then things get crazier than that. I don't think I have time for all of it to be fit into here. So. OK, so at this point, we are just waiting for the police to arrive. And while we're waiting for the police to arrive, oh, things got crazy. So the managers were able to separate, you know, the mom from attacking her kid and the server was able to go safely to the back with the kid. And meanwhile, we're just waiting for the police, right? So then things get crazy. The lady then proceeds to take her entire clothes off in the middle of the restaurant in full broad light. When I say naked, I mean naked. I mean naked, okay? Everything, you could see everything. So she starts circling the restaurant. Mind you, like I said, it's a Friday night. It's a full house. So the managers go in the back, they grab like a tablecloth to try to cover her up, give her some decency, I don't know. And she starts screaming the R word all around the restaurant and people are just looking at her like she's crazy, right? Police finally show up and they literally tackled this woman to the ground. <laughs> they were somehow able to get in contact with her husband or her boyfriend, I don't know who it was at the time, but some guy came up like 30 minutes later after the whole scene happened. So the dad arrives, gets the kid and tells the police, oh, this is like her third or fourth episode that she's had. I'm so sorry, yada, yada, yada. So of course, naturally, the police are just asking like, hey, we need some surveillance footage or, you know, some proof of something, right? At the time, we did not have any cameras, any surveillance cameras at all. So this lady could have literally just lied and said anything or said that she was, you know, I, I don't know, she could have just made something up. So she ended up making some stuff up to the police. She was basically saying how she felt threatened the entire time at the restaurant and that we were trying to abduct her, her kid. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on TikTok, but yeah, anyways. And then she told the police that she was R-word by the managers. So the police were like, hey, we need some surveillance. This restaurant does not have any surveillance cameras. I don't even know if to this day they have surveillance cameras, honestly. Thank goodness at the time, the girl that I was bartending with had her phone out the entire time and was, was recording. I had no idea because I was just in shock and I was using my own phone to call the police too. So anyways, it's clearer than water that this lady is just mentally insane and actually needed help. Um, but she was making stuff up to the police, um, trying to paint us out as the bad guys and she was just innocent. Anyways, this is just a story time. I'm not painting her out as crazy as like, oh, she's crazy, but like the actions that she did were really crazy and insane. Um, mental health is a serious issue and I'm not making fun of it. I'm just simply sharing a story. So yeah, I, I wish her nothing but the best. I hope her and her kid are okay. But yeah, I have a lot of crazy stories. So let me know if you guys want more. What's the most disrespectful thing that's happened to you in the service industry? We need to talk about the disrespectful uh, tr uh, treatment of the service workers in general because, especially in these restaurants, people seem to think that because it's open tables that you're going to walk in somewhere and get sat immediately. When most of these restaurants don't have to take, have to stand to take care of um, a lot of people, let alone you and your raggedy ass. So, we need to, we need to talk about this, this disrespect. 
don't know if somebody hasn't told anyone, we're still in a pandemic. Okay? These servers, uh, fast food work, all these service workers, they risk their life every day to come in here and take care of these raggedy motherfuckers. And then these people be having the nerve to get upset when they can't come into a restaurant and be sat immediately on a Saturday evening. Like, I'm sorry. Ma'am, there are maybe six servers where I work at. Yep, six. In the whole restaurant. Maybe two of them work full time. Everybody else is part time. They coming from school, coming from a job, coming from God knows what else. Ma'am, do you think I come in my job for you to constantly question me as to why you can't get sad immediately? Like, I'll give you an example. A couple, couple shifts ago, it was me and one other person on the floor on a weekday night. So, me and this one other person can only take so many tables at a time. One woman proceeds to come in and say, well, I have a party of eight. We can't take you. I'm sorry. We just cannot take a party of eight right now. Well, I don't understand. I see all these open tables. There's one. There's two servers on the floor, ma'am. I don't have the staff to take care of you. But why can't you take care of me? Because I said so, ma'am. Because if I take you, it's going to take away from me being able to take smaller parties and take on more people at one time so no ma'am i cannot take a party of eight right now she proceeds to say that i'm a what she called me she called me a black bitch and said she wanted to see my manager because i wasn't being accommodating for her then my manager proceeded to come out and tell her the exact same thing i told her because we were short-staffed she was so kind with him oh well i understand why you didn't understand when I said it? But the whole point being, ma'am, why are you coming in somewhere thinking you just going to sit down with eight people and this shit's just going to be copacetic? And then going to be disrespectful when somebody say no? Girl, fuck you and your eight people and fuck you and everybody you came with. You hear me?